But the big question is, why were we pushing for the exit at all? In South Korea, the United States has been there for 70 years. They've got 25,000 troops there. If they'd left after 20 years, they would have left at a time when South Korea had a GDP per capita lower than the Congo in a military dictatorship. If you're going to get involved, get involved patiently. And we had a light footprint of 2,500 American, British, and other soldiers that could have been there with very few casualties at low cost. This was an unnecessary, reckless defeat. At what point do we say enough is enough? We have to end this, even if it's done, and I think it was done in a horrific way, but it has to end. I don't accept Rory's analogy. South Korea, we have not been facing a 20-year armed insurgency American. Me Mehdi, you're South completely... Korea. We cannot have an endless war, Rory. You're, and, uh, you know, you're, you're totally... Mehdi, you're, big, you're, ma mass you're talking doing about... Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You're, you're, you're massively misrepresenting the situation. Combat operations finished in 2014. You're living in the past. There have been very few US or UK casualties. This is one of the problems with the line that Biden that is, is selling. And yet, Since 2014. Why do you think that is, Rory? Since 2014, because, why do you think that we, is? because we were conducting, since 2014, air operations from bases in support of the Afghan National Army. There was no significant pressure against our forces on the ground. They were never tested. This idea that Biden Rory. is selling and that you are trying to sell, that we were still stuck in the middle of a bloody civil war and we had no alternative other than to leave, is totally false to the millions Hold of on. Afghans, the millions no. of Afghans uh, whose lives have been improving over the last few years. You're much too pessimistic about what's been happening in Kabul. I don't know when you were last right. there, maybe. When were you last in Kabul? When I was there in November, I'm, I'm I not could, when I was when I was there in November, I can assure you the people that I've been working with okay. for 20 years are in a much Could better situation than they were before. Okay. And you're let's, dismissing let's hear, all let's those advances. Let's hear a response from Mehdi. Well, first of all, the last U.S. soldier died in February 2020. Do you know what happened in February 2020? Donald Trump signed a withdrawal agreement with the Taliban. So this idea that we could stay in some kind of state, even though Afghans were waiting for us to leave. And according to the polls, 46% of Afghans wanted American forces out after a deal as of last January. By the way, you talk about air operations, 330% increase in civilian casualties from our air attacks between 2017 and 2020. When you were in Afghanistan, Rory, did you go talk to the families of the people we killed? I do. Okay, you go well, talk to those? I do. Let's, and I can tell okay, you one no, thing. Rory, Rory, just one minute, because I need to bring other people in as well. The Afghan army never became self-sufficient. But I've made... Mehdi, with respect, 125 trips to Afghanistan over the last 20 years. I went into Kabul at the end of 2001. It was a ghost town. 300,000 people, nobody in the streets, 4 million refugees. We built a charity in 2006. I've got 400 employees on the ground at the moment, at risk from the Taliban, because of an entirely unnecessary and reckless decision by Biden trying to emulate President Trump. We didn't need to do it. And what we've done is we've destroyed hundreds of thousands of lives, people who were living lives similar to their opposite numbers in India, people who were able to go to school, and Rory. we were protecting it with a very small investment. And your figure, Mehdi, Rory. your figure, which yep. you've quoted to suggest the only reason there are no casualties is because at the beginning of 2020, a peace deal was signed, are completely misleading because you should be aware that there were only six casualties in the year before that peace deal was signed. This has been a very so low-cost, okay. low-risk okay. operation, okay. which... Wait, wait, Mehdi, let me finish, since you had a long rant about how the whole thing was a catastrophe OK, but I don't want you to do a long rant right. either, Rory, okay. so, because otherwise so no-one else will come in. we must get out of the black and white. Either it's a disaster or it was okay. brilliant. It was a poor, right. fragile country which was making huge progress, and we could have maintained that with a very modest investment, okay. and Nearly we threw it away.